Hello, good evening guys. Uh, my name is Shalin. Uh, so today is uh, something special and uh, I born for Sri Lankan friends who are watching and others who decide to watch this. So today is pretty much um, specially based on UK nationalities traveling to Sri Lanka, mainly based on those and others who want to learn more about how to travel to Sri Lanka. This is that video on the next 30 minutes or roughly I'll try to finish everything then because a lot a uh, lot to process through a lot, lot of content to grab onto um, so highlight is as per this website on the government of Sri Lanka 21st of January they will open the borders for UK nationalities and others i mean i think this already open for other people but uk nationalities mainly focus on because of the brexit and uh, problems with the covid that we had um we went but we are still on level four and five and um, it's pretty high number so they're taking precaution for especially uk nationalities so I'm not gonna roll any credits, nothing. I'm all I say. If you have any comments, if you have any uh, things you need to talk about, please put down a comment down below, and I will try to reply as much as I can. Um, I had to research a lot because if you have watched all my videos previously, I always complain that our oh, Sri Lankan border is not open. I miss my wife. My wife stuck there. I need to go see here. So. This is our video guys, if you guys are in the same boat as me that you want to go to Sri Lanka because of private need or personal need or pleasure, whatever it is, this is a video for you guys. So let's just start on the basics, pretty much just go to, um, you can go to the, um, uh, this one first if you wish to. Um, so So if you go to this one, this page here, uh, if you go to like Visa, it will kind of guide you to into this particular website. Mainly because of this website of the Visa making is pure, genuine, 100% guaranteed that you will get it. Any other Visa places, there's a chance you might not even get your visa, you know, it's like 50-50, you're on risk. This is genuinely 100% Sri Lankan government kind of doing it from the immigration office. So I always trust this, it's very simple. When I always travel, even 20, 12 hours before I travel, I just quickly book a visa and I go. Okay, for people who is like asking, oh, you're Sri Lankan, but you still need visa? Uh, mainly because I lost my uh, dual citizen uh, ship um, long time ago. I never lo uh, never renewed it, so therefore I kind of regret now. I don't have dual citizen, so I have a UK passport only. Unlucky me. But lucky me, unlucky me that I cannot travel to Sri Lanka for free of charge. I had to still to apply visa. So you just hit apply as, and it will give you to a brand new website. In here, you just press agree. Here, go to individual. Nothing, nothing crazy. And it will give you this page. Before you fill out anything, first thing you should try is your nationality. Just go to nationality first because if you have a dual passport of Sri Lankan, you, put Sh you don't you know, even need this. But person like me who lost a dual, uh, dual citizen, I would say GPP. So if you put a, if you put, go like this as a nationality first, pick it before you fill in everything, it will give you the option if it's available or not available. For example, right now it's not available because it's be available on the 21st. But if I say uh, Ukraine, it is available. You get what I mean? It's not like every single country, but it is there. So if I go to there, GBP, where you are? 
here hotel you're not available due to current uh, COVID situation and then it gives you this emergency alert page it's always good to keep it updated I mean like I believe the last time I read uh, was this title here the Russia and Ukraine and these 10 countries available then it added uh, Cameroon Nigeria and all these people also Ghana so they can now enter Sri Lanka and then now here oops, sorry here we had um, did I just screw that up can I go back yeah, okay cool so here it tells you more depth about what UK nationalities can do but however the first sentence says you can travel but ETS is not available so in order to find out when the ETS is available you click on this website here jilanka.travel slash hello again so when you click on that it takes you to this page let's close this so it says hello again and it says welcome to the paradise of Sri Lanka as we are open our doors to uh, the world once again we prove we have let's drag this over here so I can I can look at the camera at the same time talk to you guys oh that does not work does it my bad so um yeah we're back to apologies guys so pretty much it says it's uh, measured has been placed take uh, island of gateway safety and secure so pretty much it's saying that we are going to open for you but however uh, these are small tiny measures that you must follow in order to enter so the first thing first um, I would I'm going to put this camera set up up here so it doesn't it hurt what you need to see okay so here on the bottom here it says key things to keep you safe key thing keynotes so it's saying the first thing is saying non minimum number of days required to stay so you can technically stay 24 hours um, two days three days five days whatever but there are conditions to follow I'll tell I'll tell you those conditions in a second uh, all facilities of the hotel available so whichever hotel you booked all the facilities inside the hotel is available even massage I believe so what's it? I don't know I don't, uh, it's kind of hidden text it's like read term and condition bullshit okay so no restriction quarantine required uh, tourists can visit approved tourist area so if you are traveling for tourists only for 10 days depend on the certain tourist attraction they have a bubble versions where you can go outside no problem I guess you have to follow the full wash your hand bullshit so I don't know how that really works until you go and find out pretty much how it works but at least it allows you to go and do your tourism and stuff as long as there's a small hazard maybe it's all bubbled out I, I don't think Sri Lanka is that technology wise no and then uh, it says that tourists must stay uh, at a certified safe and secure level one hotel for 14 days of their stay must stay and then he says no minimum number of days required so a must stay is no minimum number so it's kind of now overlapping and then here it says you can travel out for tourism and then here it says um, you must do a PCR test uh, roughly 40 US dollars when apply for the visa online and 
for insurance 12 USD with one month coverage so which is that on arrival PCR test Hmm. okay let's see let's read on that because that is a bit different than what I read earlier uh, currently no except would be made of vaccination so obviously Sri Lanka is a bit poor when it comes to vaccination and they have vaccinations is yes, available but however um, I'm pretty sure it's a bit pricey plus since limited numbers available and it's not 100% guaranteed that it will be lifted off therefore they don't guarantee you for vaccination so here there are some PDFs you must read beforehand um, mostly they are very simple very easy to uh, understand so first one is pretty much it says uh, warm welcome to Sri Lanka it's like a booklet uh, key things to remember those uh, for six things we read uh, international arrivals you can uh, it's pretty much it tells you all the people who travel in from outside what you need what you require uh, dual citizen sponsorship blah, blah. this guide is not applicable for business visa if you have a business visa it does not apply to you at all visa application um, you say you know go with the ETA dot gov dot Lanka uh, so pre-purchase PCR test number of days stay depend on the minimum of stay the cost per PCR test is 40 US dollar pay for two PCR tests for seven days of stay three PC PCR tests is travel exceeds seven days what so pre purchase the PCR test depend on the number of days you stay of stay as deemed by ministry the cost per PCR test will be 40 US dollars Oh my lord, so if I were to decide to stay for two months Wait a minute What the hell? I, di I didn't even read I didn't even read this So my plan is to go there and stay at least two months I know I'm a UK national, I'm not supposed to but I'm born there so I can extend my visa if I wish to So let's say I decide to stay for two months which is 60 days Divide by two is 30 times by 40 1200 dollars I had to pay is it a must as deemed the word deemed is not really a must right so I can only I can pay for one This is troublesome. I need to find more about this information before I go ahead with whatever I decide. Because it's no, not really clear that you have to do or not have to do. Uh, so the next one is says uh, purchase a mandatory COVID insurance cover. So that's very easy. It's valid for uh, one month. So for me, I had to get two months worth of stuff. I'll do that, I guess, when I get there. But for all I know is get a PCR test at least one pay for two PCR tests uh, this, this this is this is hell of a marketing scheme my god even tourists don't want to go there no more 
I'm not even a tourist. I want to go there for family reasons. Uh, confirmation of booking. So you need a confirmation of booking. Okay, this one we will get to it very soon. What's all this about? Um, and if it worth it to buy it from the their link. Mm. Upon uh, using a visa, the detail international travelers could send the area medical office of health update accordingly until arrival. Tourism mobile, this app does not work. Please do not. I mean, it it works, but there be local people around and tell you this is better and this is better. It just really rubbish. I mean, if you are traveling to Sri Lanka, you most likely already know. If you don't know, the locals will really assist you. Don't worry about it. If you get that app, don't worry. It's not much uh, to think about it. Um, other than that, it breaks down um, another step like preparation. Travel should be undergo and PCR test. Uh, so four days before you travel. Uh, health declaration HDF should be also submitted prior to boarding on board flight upon arrival. So one, when you arrive, they must get this form uh, done. I think you get that on uh, on in flight. Uh, you can fill that, in, and then you must be insured. And then uh, booking for the hotel, all booking are uh, made uh, level 1 safety, secure hotel, ensure the period of up to 14 days. Tourists allowed to stay a number of uh, no minimum requirement provide, uh, provide they continue to stay at the certified. Yeah, like I said, if you want to do a business meeting and you only then go in there for two days, um, if you need to attend like a specific location you'll have to do 14 days plus two days if not you could book at a hotel that is closest to the the meeting that's gonna happen and ask them to come over to the hotel and then you can do the meeting at the hotel that's pretty much on the only way you can do it um, or a tourist attraction that they can enter with you which uh, so tourists are not permitted to move outside of the hotel for a period of okay even though the bubble is available you are not allowed to exit out of so or oh, business meeting must happen inside a hotel if it's gonna happen like that uh certified blah blah, blah hotels blah, blah blah all this so two meter distance stay secure blah 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 um, hotel accommodation retain to hotel hotel huh? retain to hotel hotel travel hotels travel agent tier operation are share accommodation booking transportation site detail area immediately booked made prior any travel so pretty much same as what we just read and uh, yeah uh, it tells you do the PCR test uh, email this to the private you gotta email this to the this uh, website uh, email address that you done your PCR test and I guess you need the negative results at least valid for four days max uh, and uh, all PCR tests each guest should be arranged by the hotel all PCR tests will be given. Travel should be carried out a single liberty. On arrival, PCR test pre purge must by the guest upon application visa should be carried out prior to check in in arranged hotel. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, P second PCR test should be conducted to five to seven days. The guest arrival at the hotel should stay exceed seven uh, days and additional third PCR should be carried out between 10th and 14th day so huh? okay so if you ex if you're gonna stay in Sri Lanka 
for 17 days because you're coming for a business meeting you have to pay $200 to the PCR test office because you must complete your 14 days in hotel holy mackerel so let's just keep this away 200 plus 12 already so we already 212 dollars let's keep that away um and then transportation arrival retain the guest so uh re pretend to be a guest so guests can arrive refrain the from allowing any interference with the mixing group during the travel so there's no groups i um, believe you can do couple or one-on-one -on -one situation as long as you follow the proportion of two meter distance or whatever one meter distance unless the person who fully ppe retirement transportation should be inquired uh pay 14 days conduct blah 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 in here uh manage the guest yes yes bubble treatments yes uh anything here is very important Manage visiting tourist at sites this is important arrange has been made uh permitted sites on the daily basis in biosafety bubble which I don't understand what you mean biosafety bubble because we are not that high tech when it comes to biosafety stuff so uh, permission to tourist site has been granted by Sri Lanka tourism but you must complete your 14 days first in interior will be shared <coughs> uh, special arrangement including stock from meals including stock for meals okay all personal co company the tourism including our tourist guide safari jeep other assistant unless uh, full ppe should be undergo 14 days quarantine under the supervision of local so even the people who comes with you must do 14 days after they are done with you okay well it's up to them what they want to do so that is the first slip it's pretty much give you like one-on-one -on -one guide so the next one is the most important one for people who need to book a hotel which is this uh, there is 55 hotels that you can pick from that is a level one secure place that will give you PCR test every two days which will cost you $200 okay okay um, we will go through this very uh, thoroughly uh, first uh, we will go through uh, another pointless place like this um it's giving you uh, all the approved places that you can go after you done your 14 days of uh, travel all these places are very beautiful places to go you should always visit these things and i uh, have been to every single one of them and uh, yeah amazing place but be quiet nowadays because of the covid but it's an amazing place to go so next up we have health and declaration form which will be your HDF form print this out before you travel fill it out if possible before you travel so you can have the all the time together uh, most likely on arrival you, they might have this form anyway so you have to fill it in um, so don't worry if you don't have but better you fill it out now it's like one of those forms you might get it on 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 the flight also but you don't want to looking for random people's pen do you so information flyer for international travelers 
just, just a quick flyer of what to do, what not to do, and you know, bubbles and all that stuff. Uh, triggers and travel operations again, uh, quick guide for what to do, what not to do, and it just everything same similar type going on. Uh, contacts you most like you I would recommend to take a copy of this these are the things uh, you need to contact just in case if you need a question about especially this number and uh, these emails very handy uh, when it comes to contacting with what you need to do what you what you need to uh, arrive for example my question is if I'm going to stay there for 30 days how many PCR tests do I need yeah. They will say, oh, you need like 10. Okay, well, I'm not coming. Bye. Anyway, uh, that's, that's that. Oh my lord, it's been 26 minutes. Okay, um, yeah. I would recommend to take every single copy of this and print it out. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. Oh no, I have a hiccup. This will happen when you talk too much. Um, information of COVID in insurance. I'm sorry, guys. I have a hiccup. That should clear it. Okay, uh, hospital rooms, so pretty much that 12 USD that you pay for insurance, this is what it covers. Uh, hospital room charge, it covers per day. But is it covers? It covers per day. So up to 50,000 USD covers. After that, it's all on your own. Uh, intensive care charges up to 30 days. Um, yeah. And then this is pre preparation for mortal remain of. So if you were to die, it covers. Um, I hope you don't die. You know, I'm just saying. It, at least what you pay in it covers uh, treatments and everything it covers don't worry about it so uh, last thing most important thing is FQA uh, pretty much it's a frequent question that everything that you ever wanted so it tells you more information please go back to the link of hello again so the most important thing is all these questions read it carefully and understand it carefully so first question is when is the airport is gonna reopen it says 21st of january so this is the preparation up early today is 17th and they're gonna prepare and lunch is on the 21st it'll be chaos most likely i will not travel until chaos stops so in their mandatory minimum stay no is there's no man mandatory uh, minimum stay but however you cannot exit out your hotel just like you said is there a 14 days quarantine no that does not define it but you stay in 14 days in the hotel but it's saying there's a mandatory stay of 14 days of a hotel but do, isn't that a, uh, it's not really a quarantine is it you're not really present inside the hotel room you can go out so it's really no yeah okay, okay fine fine but no as in hotel only no cannot go outside that's what i mean um how to app, how can i apply for visa i would recommend to go to eta.gov.lanka um can tourists from can tourists from any country come to Sri Lanka uh, you can go to this website here on the information then check which countries can enter but this, this is particularly for UK nationalities only for now 
this main question here do i need a covid insurance yes that 12 years the year i was talking about how much is fighter is pretty much 12 years day, the insurance how much does it cover how can i apply for mandatory covid insurance cover go to the hello again i tried this it did not work yet i'm pretty sure they still are under process of making this application i tried this already uh do i have any covid insurance cover if i stay uh, beyond 30 days yes you pay 12 initially for 30 days insured cover which is mandatory required however if you stay exceeding 30 days you should extend your insurance cover to do so please call 912 why uh, 1912 so there's option so it's so good to know really good to know should i provide a hdf form yes it's a mandatory because it tells you why you're gonna go next and if you were to be uh, accounted by anyone they will come to your door and check up on you and blah 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 anyway if I am a vaccinator, do I still need yes? Because it's not 100% guaranteed. Uh, if I am vaccinated, do I need a PCR test? Yes. Again, not 100% guaranteed. Where can I find the list of safety and secure certified hotel? I have it here. So for you guys i attempt to just go through every single information as can i get i'm just going through the short ones i'm not going to read through big ones you guys can read up on that can i stay longer than 14 days yes at the same hotel yes as long as the hotel pro allows you to do that so as in some rooms are booked for certain days yes i uh, <clears throat> can i change the hotel you can change your hotel as long as you stay 14 days first at our another hotel and then you can go to another hotel can i visit tourist attraction site in sri lanka yes tourists uh, can visit up to 14 approved site under the safety bubble but as i tell you within the 14 days can i visit my own place after the 14 days yes of course you can but you must stay 14 days and pay me 200 US dollars for this year. Can I use public transportation during my visit? In the initial of 14 days, you must know you are not allowed to travel. But after 14 days, you can do whatever you want. Pretty much, I was saying. Do I need to pre-purchase PCR test before I travel? Yes, you do. Uh, all travelers pre-purchase PCR depend on the length of stay. This is mandatory requirement for visa process. The first PCR test would be on arrival at the hotel. So first one at the hotel uh, prior to the check-in. Second one test will be five to seven days. Let's say seven days. If any symptoms should develop, if you stay for seven days you pay two PCR days if it takes it seven days you should do purchase three PCR tests each PCR test is 40 bonkers from where can I blah 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 and they can they are done in the hotel where I love you to before arrival where am I allowed to do PCR test before I arrival? Travelers should undergo PCR tests uh, indicating laboratory obtain negative result. Okay, so you must do a PCR test before you travel for four days validity, and then when you arrive, if you stay there for one month, you need it to roughly do four PCR tests. A lot of PCR tests. I hope it's not the one that goes up my nose. Cause I hate that one. With will there be dedicated medical office for each hotel? Yes, there will be. 
all sickness and blah 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 anything else that amazingly I need that to know uh, the risk is there any risk assessment in a hotel staff yes all this okay so you're not al allowed to interact with the with the hotel staff anyway what is the daily PCR test capacity for tourists it is 250 tests per day. Can a dual citizen follow the tourist route? Yes, of course, if you want to. You don't have to. You can just go straight in the quarantine and go. Have we answered all questions? If not, contact this number and email address. So, pretty much Q&A. Read thoroughly. If you, under if you don't understand this, thing, go to number 40 question and then send them them an email and they will reply to you i would say five working days roughly because i'm pretty sure they get bombarded a lot email so now it's 36 minute mark um we're gonna talk about the hotels very quickly so unfortunately i went through all these hotels and they are pricey as hell but there are ways to get through so as long as you got a hotel booked within these particular 55 hotels a room you're secured so you don't have to book it from this particular links which it will give you to directly to into their website and which costs you trust me it will cost you a lot of money um let's see i will so these are the hotels that i have checked i have it here i'll not show you right now but i'll show you a example so mimi guile okay this one let's go to mimi guile Mimi Colombo. Mimi Colombo. It's a damn good hotel. Uh, say you decide to travel on 21st until uh, 4th, which is a one month. Uh, 21st and 4th, which is two weeks. One room, book now. It takes you to another page which give you uh, 64 US dollars per night so we go 64 times by 14 equals to 896 US dollars which is not bad actually if I must say um, which is actually not bad comparing what I got 896 US dollars we for any offers 30% discount hotel special booking websites so it means that if you book from certain website it'll be cheaper therefore you could go to um, what booking dot com deals So you can book it from booking.com, any of these 50 hotels that is listed here. As long as you have a booking, you can travel to Sri Lanka. As long as you have, depend on, for me, for example, I'm staying one month, okay? Um, for the 14 days I'm staying in the hotel, I must book four PCR tests and one before I travel. So five PCR tests all together, followed by 12 USDs for insurance and then a visa is 35 to 40 US dollars so all together I'm paying so 40 times 4 for the 14 days plus 12 days plus another 40 for the US uh, visa so I have to pay 212 USDs of my travel 
just for precaution of entering once you enter obviously a uh, precaution of entering followed by hotel oh dear anyway those are the things we had to do so when you go to booking.com out of those 12 trust me these are well known five star or four star genuine hotels that every tourist attraction top 55 in Sri Lanka well probably not top 55 but most of them are there so their budget version they are good deals they are extremely expensive deals if you are expensive enough so here we have um, I had to go through this because I can't afford some of these man it's so expensive they all are on pounds on booking.com I would recommend to go US on on its own and book it because it'd be cheaper um, but this is how it lined up so in me Colombo is 741 for 14 days on spot on 21st to 4th of February so that's 14 days exactly or 14 night exactly staying cheapest I could find is this Matara Tala Treaty Treat Center but unfortunately it's not fully 100% accurate when I checked on the website the map is off and when I checked on booking.com map is off so I'm guessing it's gonna be around about 450 US dollars altogether but this is what you're gonna get cheapest you probably gonna find 400 or even this this is amazing hotel also but however some of these are uh, has 28 29 30 that's when the hotels are available so even if the 25th is traveling available you have to go with something a little bit expensive I don't mind for me I went through every single one of these hotels because I don't care just put me in, me in a hotel cheapest as possible decent comfortable um, after that 14 days I'll find my way home simple as that there's plenty of uber available plenty private taxis available they will come pick you up they wouldn't care less about if you just traveled or not unfortunately they would really care because they want that extra tip but they will charge you extra money anyway <coughs> that's pretty much all to cover um, just go through the precaution uh, just be aware, be aware you ban you'll be bankrupt the by the time you arrive to Sri Lanka um, you may have to do last PCR test before you exit Sri Lanka depend on the mandatory requirement of the country you are entering back into um, they might ask you to do PCR test even though those are the mandatory requirements um, they might come check up on you uh, at your home time to time uh, people might distance with from you because you are traveled from another country especially this country um, they might depends is a lot of mites and a uh, lot of maybes and if and this and that um, all I say guys when you travel check the hotel check everything do your precautions for me when I travel is very simple I eat before I travel so I don't have to eat the flight food I don't touch anything uh, when they give me hand sanitizer towel I keep it at least when they give me those tissues that sanitize I grab five of them I clean myself up on my own with those only and then when I arrive at home I will clean myself properly up I don't eat anything until I arrive to the other side that's pretty much it that's my proper safety precautions I follow other than that 
if you don't know the uh, airport go quickly check up on a map what you're supposed to do uh, most airports will not support you uh, they will not give you guidance where to go what to do you'll have to find out your own mainly because of the language barrier or just, just you know one of those people they don't want to help that's it but some places you find yourself well they will help you and you will be misguided but anyway that's all for me um i'll talk about airports later um other than that that's all for me uh if you want to travel to sri lanka anytime soon it'll be from 25th especially if you're uk nationality be aware that at least a uh, thousand pounds you'll have to spend if you only stay there for more than 14 days okay guys um that's all for me uh thank you for watching if you have any comments regarding what which or whatever i have talked about put a comment down below and maybe i can reply to it if not kindly give them a buzz on email that number 40 question and after that good to go very much um even if you ask the visa agencies they don't know much about this yet it is just hot news only came two days ago and uh, and we are not 100 percent sure that it is going to be open on 21st either so we'll see how it goes and uh, thank you for watching please subscribe to me thank you for staying for this long it is just key information for people if you wish to travel or not okay guys and if you do travel go to these called key destinations and enjoy yourself and especially try mango chutney and some bola and a king coconut drink all right guys peace out thank you thank you for watching take care bye